The most important story of our time has come to a conclusion. Of course, I'm joking, because who the hell cares about Hunter Biden? But I'm going to try <laughs> and break down what I can of this. Not, I don't care about this trial. I don't care about Hunter Biden. I, we'll get to my thoughts on that in a second. I'm going to get to what Republicans are doing with this now. Because now that they caught the car, they appear to be a little confused as to how to deal. And are trying to now, of course, oh, well, no, no, this is not an example of the system working. No, the... They got Hunter on these charges on purpose, setting him up for potential 20 years of jail time on, on purpose as a distraction from the real things that Joe Biden did, except he didn't do them based on Republican reports. The, this is so, this story, the Hunter Biden story, just the, anybody, any news coverage covering this, I'm going to show you why it's so stupid based on their own news coverage is so dumb. This is a perfect example of how right-wing media manufactures narratives out of nothing and then causes the rest of media to act like this thing is important when it was never important. This, this is what happened today. Hunter Biden found guilty in a federal gun case. I don't care. If he's guilty, good. He's found guilty. Fantastic. Who cares? Even Axios is struggling to understand why this matters. I love... I love their breakdown here because they always have to explain why things matter. Why it matters. The president's son now faces sentencing and possibly prison as his father seeks re-election. You have failed to tell me why this matters. <laughs> this doesn't... It's not as if Hunter Biden is in government, was in government, used his power in some nefarious way that impacts society, impacts people. This is an individual matter dealing with Hunter Biden. It's as if... Uh, let's pretend Tiffany Trump... Got a DUI. Should that be a 24-7 news story where it should be covered year after year after year since the election? This is so stupid. This has this whole story is ridiculous because it has nothing to do with Joe Biden. It doesn't matter at all. The focus on this is so absurd to me. So he was accused of illegally purchasing and possessing a firearm in 2018. While using a narcotic. Okay. Uh, this part I, I find kind of interesting. Because you have to imagine, if Joe Biden wasn't president, I don't think this would have come up at all. I, I think Hunter Biden would not have been touched. No one, be, no one at all would be talking about Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden only ever became a topic once Joe Biden became a candidate. Some legal experts, including Weiss, uh, Weiss's predecessor in U as U.S. Attorney in Delaware, have criticized the prosecution given that the crime is not often prosecuted, especially for those with no criminal history. So, look, I don't really care enough about Joe Biden or about this law to dive into it, but apparently this is something that it just a lot of people are not prosecuted for, and it just goes away. And <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> like I, I, I think the real issue here are the lack of gun laws, lack of gun reform. That is the real problem, uh, not Hunter Biden and what he did apparently in 2018. But uh, so Joe Biden reacted to this in a statement saying, as I said last week, I am the president, but I am also a dad. Jill and I love our son and we are so proud of the man he is today. So many families who have had loved ones battle addiction understand the feeling of pride seeing someone you love come out of the other come out the other side and be so strong and resilient in recovery. As I also said last week, I will accept the outcome of this case and I will continue to respect the judicial process as Hunter considers an appeal. Jill and I will always be there for Hunter and the rest of our family with our love and support. Nothing will ever change that. Okay, typical, you know, I'm a dad, I care about my son. All right. I just want to show you what his reaction was. Now, this is Fox News. So here is how they are uh, reacting to this. Charlie Hurt, for more on this. Uh, Charlie, I guess this afternoon kind of takes away the arrow that President Biden headed his quiver for the upcoming debate where he could refer to Donald Trump as a, quote, convicted <laughs> felon and not expect that he was going to get it right back at him. Yeah, it certainly does make it uh, a lot uh, sloppier for uh, their best laid efforts to hang that uh, that title on uh, President Trump. Amazing. For a year, Fox News and conservative media 
have tried to make the argument that there is a two-tier justice system, one that goes over goes after uh, poor, weak individuals that have no power, no money, like Donald Trump, and then another that protects the wealthy and powerful. This showcases <laughs> that at least in this instance, the system went after both Trump, who committed a crime, many crimes, and Hunter Biden. They went after a former president, a Republican, and a Democratic president's son, all within the same six months. Or really, a month. <laughs> and, and this is the takeaway that Fox News has? Can you imagine... If Hunter Biden came out not guilty, uh, th it's exactly what we've been saying. Exactly what we've been saying. Hunter Biden, th there's a two tier justice system. Hunter Biden got away with it because of the, the witness tampering, because he's Joe Biden's son. See, the, the wealthy and powerful have one system, and then the, the poor, low lifes, the, the ones at the bottom of society, like, billionaire Donald Trump, they, there's a different system for those. The system, at least in this instance, is being fair. For months, conservative media, Republicans, have been claiming that Joe Biden and Jill Biden are engaging in witness and jury tampering, that Hunter will not face a guilty verdict because the system is rigged for Joe Biden, and Joe Biden is using the system to get Trump, which of course he wasn't, has nothing to do with that at all, but he, using the system to get Trump, and he's going to protect Hunter Biden. And there are so many examples of, Republic, of Fox News in particular here discussing how they're using their power to influence. Here's a, uh, so Janine Pirro did a lot of it, accuses Dr. Jill Biden of mob tactics for attending son's trial. Here's, and she did a few times on TV. Here's one example. You've got Jill Biden at the trial, but she wasn't just at the trial. She was at the selection of the jury. And I, kind, I can't help but think that she was there trying to send a message. I'm here. She's got her arms around the family members there. You know, we're the Bidens. This is Delaware. So on the one hand, you've got the sympathetic jury who have experienced the devastation of drugs and alcohol addiction. And then you've got kind of the mob mentality. We know who you are we're in the courtroom and we're watching you mm. let me yeah what happened well i thought they were tampering i thought the jury was going to be sympathetic what happened here's this clown leo terrell with uh this fox and friends dipshit this is again before the the uh guilty verdict leo what does it mean besides a father and a, and a mother supporting their son? Is there another message to that? I think there's the message is to influence the jury pool. Look, you got the first lady, you got Secret Service, you got a high profile situation involving the son of the president, and everyone in Delaware knows Joe Biden. So he basically has this case in his own backyard. So the, everyone knows it. So there's a tremendous amount of influence being put on by the Bidens to the jury. Was there? Because he's now guilty. What happened to this influence? So here is what Republicans uh, are, 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 and our conservatives are now trying to do. Uh, this quote, kind of dumb, to be honest, Gates and other mega figures irked by Hunter Biden guilty verdict. Guess how they're trying to frame this now. So Matt Gates just tweeting out Hunter Biden gun, gun conviction is kind of dumb, to be honest. Charlie Kirk, Hunter Biden guilty, yawn. The true crimes of the Biden crime family remain untouched. This is a fake trial trying to make the justice system appear balanced. Don't fall for it. They didn't get the right crimes. So while it may appear that the justice system is balanced and they got Hunter Biden because he is guilty, that's not because they didn't get him on the things that would have connected him to Joe Biden, who's the real crime. 
crime mob boss guy. He's the real one, the bad guy. Stephen Miller here basically saying that <laughs> DOJ is running election interference for Joe Biden. That's why DOJ did not charge Hunter with being an unregistered foreign agent or any crime connected with foreign corruption. Why? Because all the evidence would lead back to Joe. DOJ is Joe's election protection racket. You mean the things that Republicans found no evidence? New York Times. This is from 2020. Republican inquiry finds no evidence of wrongdoing by Biden. And this goes on to say, so Hunter Biden had cashed in on his father's name to close lucrative business deals around the world. But the 87-page report show, shows no evidence that the elder Mr. Biden, Joe Biden, improperly manipulated American policy toward Ukraine or committed any other misdeed. This is a Republican report. These clowns will make up anything to attack Democrats. They could not find a single thing to pin Joe Biden on. And then move to 2023. Republicans finally admit they have no incriminating evidence on Joe Biden. That's not going to stop them because this was a year ago and we have only seen a year of claims or, uh, you know, talking around the issue of, sure, he, he's guilty of something. I know it. He did something. But never actually having anything. Going on to uh, right here, House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer released a 65-page memo detailing a sprawling investigation into Biden and some of his relatives, particularly Hunter Biden. Nowhere in the massive document was there a specific allegation of a crime committed by Biden or any of his relatives. Where is it? It's just... Think of all the manpower, the resources from major media organizations, be it New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, MSNBC, all these outlets that could have put their effort anywhere else, could have put those, that manpower, those resources, that money towards any other story, just dismissed this obvious bullshit out of hand. But instead, they fed into the right-wing propaganda, propping up this Hunter Biden thing as a story that matters when it never mattered, and making it to something that it never was. All that wasted time on this bullshit because of a personal thing that Hunter Biden did in his personal life that was illegal that he got now a guilty charge for. It's just, it's so ridiculous how easily media falls into these right-wing traps. And understand, they are never satisfied. The right will never be satisfied because they don't, they're not looking for the truth. They're just looking for smears. It doesn't matter whether this came out guilty, not guilty, they would have found a way to complain about it and a way to twist it around and make it seem like, of, of course, let's say Hunter Biden, it, it wasn't guilty. They would have said, oh, look, two-tier justice system, Hunter Biden, not guilty, Look at this. Trump is guilty because he committed actual crimes. Hunter Biden, look at this two-tier justice system. But now he's guilty. Oh, what? Not they got him on the wrong charges. <laughs> it's just it never, <clears throat> it never ends. These people are clowns. Do not feed in to their propaganda.